Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com, your source for everything Jeep. Welcome to the seven inch round LED headlight buyer's guide. We're gonna cover all the latest and greatest in LED headlights for your Jeep. Now, whether you have a brand new Wrangler or one that's a few years old, one of the things that you'll quickly realize when driving at night is how lacking the factory headlights are. Now, with all the recent developments in LED technology, both improving the quality and reducing the cost, it makes LED replacement headlights the clear choice when you're looking for a headlight upgrade. So to get started, you basically have a few different types of designs on the market when it comes to LED headlights. You have your reflector style lights, your projector style lights, and your forward facing LED style lights. Now they all get that light out onto the road, but they do it in slightly different ways, which we'll go over in just a minute. Now, before you start shopping, you wanna make sure you use the vehicle selector at quadratech.com to pick your Jeep so you can be sure you're looking at the right lights for your Jeep. All these lights come with an H4 style connector, which is gonna plug in straight to a CJ or a TJ Wrangler. Now, if you've got a newer JK Wrangler, we're gonna package the lights with an adapter harness to go from an H4 on the back of the light to an H13 that will plug into the factory harness. Some of the lights will actually even package with a PWM or a pulse width modulator, which helps correct the flickering issue with LEDs that some JK owners experience. One of these lights actually even already has an H13 style connector on it because it's been designed directly for a JK Wrangler and it even has the pulse width modulator built into it, but more on that later. We'll start down here with the Quadratech Q series headlights. Now, as I mentioned, these are a reflector style design light which has the LED facing back into the lens and then projecting that light out onto the road. We've got two different models. This is our classic Q series light. And then we've updated that with our stealth light for you guys out there looking for that blacked out look on the front of your Jeep. It's a really nice clean look. Both of them put out the same amount of light on the road. There's a cast aluminum heat sink housing on the back, which helps disperse that heat. And they use Philips LED chips that are sure to give you a lot of long lasting life and good quality light out on the road. Next, moving on to the truck light by Rigid Industries LED headlight. Again, you'll notice this is the same reflector style light as the Q series lights. It has those LEDs facing back into the reflector which projects the light out onto the road. It's very efficient and puts a nice beam pattern out onto the road for you. And one of the cool things that truck light has done is they built a heated LED light where they've actually incorporated a defroster wire into the lens of the light. One of the issues that you'll have with LEDs that you don't really think of at first is the fact that they're not putting out as much heat as a standard halogen bulb would. So if you're in extreme cold climates where you experience snow, sleet, frost, some of those types of things, when you're driving in those conditions, it can have a tendency to build up on the lens. Now, what truck light has done is they build a temperature sensing circuit right into the light. When it falls below that freezing point, it automatically activates that defroster cir circuit on the lens to help melt away snow and ice while you're driving. Really cool feature. Um, now, one of the other cool things is that truck lights are made in the USA. I know that's important to a lot of us here at Quadratech. It's important to a lot of our customers. Uh, moving on to the JW speaker. This is their 8700 Evolution J series light. Now, if one of the first thing you notice is the dramatic difference in the way this light just looks from the other ones on the table here. This is a projector style light. Um, and the main thing is what they're doing here is they're using a projector lens with the LED behind that to project that light out onto the road. So the LED is actually facing forward, it's not facing back into a reflector. That projector does a really nice job dispersing the light evenly across the road and giving you a really sharp cutoff, which is important with a lot of lifted Jeeps. You're not gonna be blinding oncoming traffic going down the road, people flashing their high beams at you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the J series is actually one of the only lights here that's designed specifically for the JK Wrangler. It's got an H13 plug on the back. There's no adapters needed. There's no pulse with modulators needed. It's already been all built into the light. So you're getting one compact, plug and play, easy to install unit. The other cool thing that JW Speaker did is they incorporated a half halo, which has been a really popular trend lately. So it just gives you that very current look. Moving down the line here, we've got the KC Highlights LED headlight for you. Again, a reflector style light, the same as the Quadratech and the truck light light, uh, just another kind of design. If you're a classic Jeep, maybe an older CJ or a TJ, you've got a lot of those KC Highlight daylighters on your Jeep. You're familiar with that KC look. Uh, this incorporates that same look. You can go with a nice matching theme across your Jeep. Um, does a very nice job putting out the light. 
It's got that nice blacked out look to it with the highlighted KC logo in the middle. So when you're looking at the light when it's turned off during the day, it gives you that nice blacked out look. Light them out at night, you got that great LED bright daylight out on the road for you. So to wrap up our group of LED headlights here, we have the Putco Luminex LED headlight, which is a drastically different design than the rest we have on the table here. Now, Putco is using a forward-facing LED design that you're probably familiar with seeing in things like LED light bars. Now, they've actually set 15 individual LEDs into a solid piece of aluminum as the housing. Now, each of these individual LEDs is angled slightly different to give you the proper beam spread out on the road. Uh, it's a super thin profile, uh, which we've noticed a lot of guys running custom rock buggies and things really like because space is at a premium and it can be really easy to mount for those guys. Again, it mounts in all the same housings, so it'll drop right in to whether you've got a TJ, a CJ, or a brand new JK Wrangler. Uses the H4 plug on the back. Again, also comes with the H4 to H13 adapter, so it's a plug and play light. And it's just a, a radically different look out there to really set you apart from the rest of the crowd. Now the next step for you is to hit that info button so you can visit us at quadratech.com and watch all the detailed product breakdowns of everything we went over here today. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, as always, orders over $75 ship free and most orders ship the same day. If you wanna to talk to a Jeep expert about anything we went over here today, info at quadratech.com or give us a call at 1-800-745-2348 or live chat at quadratech.com. Thanks for watching the seven inch round LED headlight buyer's guide. I'm Rob and I'll see you out on the trail.